Hey, Leslie. Hey, Teresa and Tommy. Is it just is it just Teresa tonight, or is it uh, both of you? Hey, Fred and Connie. Let's see who else has come in right quick. All right, David. I gotta kill the music. <laughs> that way people be able to watch the rerun. I just filled up with gas. Or I didn't completely fill up, but I got gas. Get my little honey hole here. How's uh, TME Teresa doing this evening? How's everybody else doing? I survived last night and this morning. I'll get into that here in a little bit. Let me hope everybody's had a good week so far. I mean, we're only two days into it. That's good, Teresa. I appreciate you coming in. You're getting to see your happy place. How's the um, how's the picture? I happened to think about that I might needed to check my uh, camera lens, and of course it looked a little dirty. So <laughs> I'm hoping it's a little clearer for you now, as far as looking wise, because the lenses were dirty. I, I cleaned them off. Thank you, Dad. Hey, Dennis Jackson. <clears throat> oh, here's the sun. And, of course, I didn't bring my sunglasses with me because I know the sun will be going down here, man, which that's all right, though. We're going we're gonna to make a turn down here in just a minute. I appreciate everybody coming in. I'll get with the chat here in a few minutes. Hey, Pam. And Leslie says it looks good to her. Yeah, I know the sun's bright, though, uh, Teresa. I'm about to make a turn down here so that way it won't blind y'all. But it just got done raining like an hour ago. Exactly an hour ago. The rain quit and the sun come out. How, uh, hey, Teresa, right quick, how bad did y'all get the uh, wind and the rain? Rain really wasn't that bad. I mean, it's rained all day today up until an hour ago, but other than that, uh, last night was brutal. It was the daggum wind. I think I told Leslie 70 mile an hour, but I, I might have misspoke on that. Leslie, I think it was, uh, yeah, we're blinded by the light, Fred. <laughs> uh, I think we got, I think we had a 60 mile an hour gust. I don't, I don't think we had a 70 mile an hour gust, uh, Leslie. I, um, I might have misspoke on that. I think it's 60 mile an hour. And then I believe it too, because I got stories to tell. But I'm going to go down here and, show y'all something right quick before before we get into the story time <laughs> yeah it was it was awful here Teresa I don't know how much I'll get to show of this because the stuff sort of sets off sort of sets away hey everybody Leslie saying hey to Fred Fred saying hey uh oh I saw where it buffered just a little bit right there hopefully it'll be a clear signal right here We'll find out. Oh, 
I was your friend, Fred said he was VR fishing until I came on. I don't blame you, Fred. I know you're trying to get leveled up and stuff as far as on the freshwater part. Now, he's at max level on the salt water. But here's the dig zone. This is what I was coming to show y'all right quick. Here's the dig. It looks like I got a little train ride for the kiddos. And then like, you can't really see it from here. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. But that big, the one that says cat on the back of it right right there, there's a big mound of dirt right in front of it. And you can't see it from here. But undoubtedly, I guess you can play in the, the dirt also. Um, how's the signal coming in? It looks fine on my other phone here. Let me get caught up with you guys and say hey to everybody. Get this phone turned the right way. Uh, Leslie saying hey to Dennis. Uh, David says, Fred, how do you cook them VR fish? How do you catch and release? Well, the, as far as the cooking part, the cooking's, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit complicated to cook them as far as on VR, David. But as far as the catch and release, that's pretty much you either hit keep or hit release. <laughs> hey, Jimbo's cruising. Saying hey, everyone. Glad to be able to join the end tonight. We've been away from the internet following our softball kids all over Kentucky. Hey, I understand that, Jimbo. I completely understand that. Uh, Fred saying hey to Jimbo. But yeah, we'll get into... I'm going to take us up to Sevierville here in just a little bit. And then we'll get into the uh, story time. But I don't... Uh, I see. Is she sitting? Let me see if I can get... Let me flip it around. Because me and... Hey, Tootsie, can you... Tootsie, hop up here or move over. <laughs> you can't see it. Me and her's matching tonight. <laughs> She's got her... Here, move over here for a sec. Come here. Come here. There you go. Sit up here. See if I can see, if I can see you in your shirt. Nope. Still can't. So then I got my phone in the darn thing right here, and I can't I can't move the angle to where y'all be able to see her. But I'll get her on camera here in a little while. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jimbo saying hey to Fred. Leslie says the sky looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it finally, that's why I say it's mess finally all cleared out, which they kept, I, I watched some of the news there as far as the weather, and they said it was supposed to quit around 6, 7 o'clock, so it hit it just right as far as where we wouldn't be riding around in rain tonight. Uh, hey, Linda. She's saying, hey, Jeff and Tootsie and everyone. Jimbo says, kids have a tournament in Gatlinburg in a few weeks. Cool. Hey, uh, Jimbo, I'll try to meet up with you while you're in town. If you get a chance, I mean, I know you're going to be busy with that, but maybe, maybe the night that I go live, you can come crash my live if you want to. Uh, Fred saying, hey to Linda, Leslie says she's so proper just sitting there in her seat being a good girl. <laughs> well, that's how mama raised her, Leslie. Uh, Linda saying, hey to Fred and Connie. And Jimbo says, that sounds great. Yeah, we'll see if we can figure something out. Uh, hey, John Asper. Hello, Jeff. I took a drive over to uh, Hoover Heights, Ohio, where they're going to build the new Bucky's. They finally started to break ground. Well, that's cool. Well, you'll be able to, hey, John, you'll be able to drive a little shorter distance uh, as far as being able to go to a Bucky's here before long. I just now noticed, I think that's fog. Uh, well, it's just supposed to be fog in the morning. Let me back up here a little bit and get a different angle where I can show y'all a little bit better. Oh, I just now paid attention to their sign right there. Or it's, I mean, as far as it's got that little character on it. But see the clouds over there to the... That's, I guess that's fog probably like towards Gatlinburg. I mean, that's towards Gatlinburg. But I take it that's clouds. I can't. I can't tell. <laughs> Looks like clouds. That's wild though, seeing that. 
uh, let's see. Come on, phone, flip. There we go. Uh, Fred saying, "Hey, to John." John says, "It'll be sixty miles away from me." Well, that that'll be still be closer for you than the one that you go to now, isn't it, John? The one in Kentucky, I guess. Or, they, or is it about the same distance? I, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Why I'm asking you. I just I took it that it was going to be closer for you. Ah, Fred says, "Beware of the fog." Yeah, I've seen that movie too, Fred. Uh, Leslie says, "Huber Heights uh, is only about thirty minutes from me." Work excited about. There you go, so Leslie and uh, Larry will be uh, excited about that. They'll be. Just right next door, right next door to Bucky's. John says it rained here overnight, and it's going to rain again here in about an hour. Oh, we're done with our rain here, John. They they hit it just right. They said, you know, six seven o'clock, and I said, well, that's good. I'll be live at seven thirty, and of course six thirty. Right, I mean, like six thirty two on the dot. It quit raining and then the sun came out. I mean, all at one time, pretty much. Yeah, I, 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 I'm probably not pronouncing that right, Leslie. Is it Hubber? So the uh, so the H is not silent. I, I, couldn't, I thought I'd heard somebody say that name before. And it might be uh, where I'm at over there somewhere in North Carolina. They call it Uber Heights. Uh, I mean, Uber Heights. And the H is silent. But I guess y'all's is not and it's Hubbard. Uh, Leslie said spelled it wrong. <laughs> uh, John says, Yeah, the one in Richmond's 230. Yeah, so it's definitely closer for you then, John. Uh, TMA Tracy says, We're getting one not far from here in Kentucky. And uh, hey, Gary, with two R's saying good evening to everybody. Fred saying, Hey to Gary. Leslie says, Yes, Teresa, Smith Grove, where some of my kin live. So Tommy and Trace is going to have one near them. Oh, Uber. Uber Heights. Okay. So the H is. I thought the H was silent. I still wasn't pronouncing it right, though. But the H, H is silent. Uh, TMA Trace says, that's right. I remember you saying that. Yeah, Leslie wasn't too happy when Big Blue Nation got beat last weekend. She is hoping Kentucky would would win their game. Oh, okay. Well, anyhow, Leslie, you know how I am with words. Half the time I can't pronounce stuff right anyway. She says, no, the H is still there, not silent. I put it before the Uber. <laughs> and then Leslie says, Kentucky's really let me down lately. Really letting letting me down lately. I appreciate all y'all coming in. That's why I say we'll go here to Survivor Hood. Man, I'm just gonna chat with y'all right quick. But we'll we'll head over there. We'll get into some story time with Jeff and Tootsie, as Fred says it. And uh, get, I think Gary with two R's. He's said that before too. Story time with Jeff and Tootsie. <laughs> Scott, what's up, buddy? I know you got to go to work here in a little while, bless your heart. Hey, I'm telling you, y'all need to right there, kicking it country right quick because there's nobody in this parking lot because they're closed. I'm going to sit right here. Hopefully my signal's still good. Hey, right quick, if any of y'all that's not subscribed to kicking it country right there, you might want to subscribe to them and watch their Sunday night, this past Sunday night's live show. I never laughed so hard in my life. Now, you talk about somebody that can tell good stories. Scott and Amber, that's on Kicking It Country, that's who I'm talking about. He's in here right now. They had some hilarious stories from where all the YouTubers met up in Helen, Georgia. I never laughed so hard in my life. I was ready to pee myself. Lord have mercy. I was hurting. I thought it'd been a good while since I'd had a live show to watch like that. It was funny. I... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I mean, I got there, I was a little bit, you know, the bad word was, L-A-T-E, 
but I was in just in time before they started telling their all their stories. But anyhow, if y'all want a good laugh, I mean, it's it's a little bit long. You know, it's like my life. It's you know two hours or so, but it's it's hilarious. It's hilarious. And if you know them and have met them, that's what'll make it even. That's what makes it even more fun for you to watch it because. Uh, we know how they are, how Scott and Amber is. I mean, it's it's a hoot when you're with them. Let me get caught up with y'all, you guys, right quick. Uh, Leslie says, the cats have not been their normal amazing selves for years. I think someone might need to retire. <laughs> Leslie's talking about the coach. <laughs> Fred's saying, hey, fishing buddy, Scott. And Jimmy's saying, hey to Scott. And Linda says, Jeff, I like your short videos on Tootsie I watched today. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, I throwed up a, a video for everybody because I know how y'all like seeing the star of the show. So um, I've done that today for everybody. So that way well, it was just nothing but her. That's the first time I've done that, I think, uh, as far as something like that. Uh, so I appreciate, I appreciate that, Linda. Uh, Fred says, hey to Jimmy. David says, that was a good show Sunday night, Scott. And Scott's saying, hey to Fred. Fred says, TMI, Jeff, TMI. <laughs> and Scott's saying, hey to David. Linda's saying, hey to Jimmy and Scott. Scott's saying, hey. Jimmy says, Scott, can you do Scott? Can good stories, Scott? All the, <laughs> trying to make, I think he's asking, I think he's saying that Scott can, tell really good stories because Jimmy has to talk into his phone and his phone will not say it out right. So I was trying to trying to decipher that for you, Jimmy. Uh, Scott's saying, hey to Linda. David says, hey to Scott. John says, it looks like you're going to have a beautiful sunset. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping the sunset's already down. It was in our eyes just a little bit ago. Uh, Jimmy saying, hey to Fred and Connie. Teresa says, I'll have to watch. I'm so behind. <laughs> Yeah, it's his, uh, it's, it's the sun, this past Sunday, two days ago, two nights ago, uh, Teresa, TME TV, Teresa. Um, it's, it's funny. It's the stuff they tell, holy moly. Uh, it's nothing bad, nothing dirty. It's just, I mean, it's good, clean fun. But <laughs> if you don't laugh, then I'll be surprised. <laughs> Uh, let's see. John says, did you get blown away by the wind today? I had not got into this story yet, John. I know I've got it titled that, but I'm, I'm going to go up here to Sevierville, uh, as soon as I get caught up on chat here. And then I'll start John about the, I'll start telling stories about what all happened. Uh, Gary says, Jeff, you know what, uh, you know what Duke, North Carolina and North Carolina state have in common? Yep. They're both in the, they're all in the sweet 16 right now. Uh, they all look good until the tide rolls in. Roll tide. <laughs> hey, Gary, I wouldn't be bragging on the SEC too, too much. You got some ACC fans in here that's got you outnumbered right now. And the teams have got you outnumbered. <laughs> hey, Gary knows I'm just messing because Scott knows that uh, he'll tell you too. I I don't really talk much trash about sports or anything because I just I like watching good games. I mean, yeah, I pull for the Wolf Pack, and I will be pulling for them till they get beat. They'll probably get beat. Uh, is it Thursday night? They either play Thursday night or Friday night. I got to find out when they play. If somebody knows when Wolf Pack plays, let me know because I don't know if it's Thursday or Friday. But that'll probably be their last game. I don't I don't think they'll be able to beat Mar Marquee. Uh, I see Jimmy's saying hey to TME TV, saying what's up. Uh, hey, Dry Creek. Hey, Rob and Denise. Hey, guys. Uh, Jimmy says hey to Tommy and Teresa. And uh, Fred saying hey to Rob and Denise. Jimmy saying hey. Pam saying hey. Dry Creek saying hey. Linda saying hey. Everybody's saying hey right now. I'm trying to get caught up real quick. Gary says I have Leslie to protect me. All right, yeah, she, he's saying he's got Leslie to protect him over the Kentucky. Uh, Scott says, it's all true. That's the sad part. Just take Amber somewhere and it's bound to happen. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Well, I mean, everybody got a little bit of taste of y'all when you was with me on my live show, uh, you know, last, this past fall. 
when we got together and stuff, done that live show. Uh, hey, Patrick. Hey, buddy. How the heck is everyone doing tonight? I think everybody's doing good so far. Uh, Dry Creek saying hey to Patrick. Teresa, T and me saying my Razorbacks didn't last long. And uh, yeah, I know it. And they, I had them pick the win too, Teresa, Arizona. I, I, not the whole thing, but I had them winning more than what they did. Uh, Jimmy saying hey to everybody if he missed anybody. He's tired. And Leslie says, Gary's not lying. He's, I've got his back. And John says, thoughts and prayers to the people that haven't found yet where the firefighter hit the bridge and but what it was the or the freight he say he's meaning freight liner, yeah, where the ship hit the bridge and I was gonna get into that too. But yeah, that's that's sad. Um let's see, uh, Scott says state plays Friday. Okay, so they're playing Friday. Oh, that's good. So I got something to look forward to on Friday then. Uh, David says, uh, how are y'all doing, Rob Denise? And Rob Denise is saying, hey. Everybody's saying hey to everybody right now. So I'm pretty much caught up. All right, we'll go up here to Sevierville, and then that way we can get into the story time with Jeff and Tootsie. I'll fill y'all in on what happened last night. Nothing major, so don't don't panic or anything like that. What nothing major, but there's a little bit of excitement. And I apologize for the phone shaking a little bit because I've got it in that new that new gimbal thingy. It don't look like it shakes too too bad though, as far as me watching it on this phone here, because I'm it, the phone's a little bit behind, so I watched myself pull up. <laughs> Okay, uh, Carolina plays on Thursday. All right, uh, thanks for letting me know that too, Scott. Because I'll watch, I'll watch the ball games again this weekend. I mean, I know we got Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, and then the next weekend it'll be Saturday and Monday. And yeah, y'all say hey to each other. I'll get caught up on the comments that I, that I need to uh, read. Hey, Landa. But yeah, if uh, and I'll go ahead and mention this. Uh, but I know a lot of y'all or all y'all in here pretty much know what's going on with Virginia and stuff. And I don't know if she'll be in tonight or not. Uh, but I did tell her that if she didn't come in tonight, that it was completely understandable, uh, and that we all would understand why she wasn't in here tonight. And I'll I'll give y'all an update on what she's told me. Uh, as far as what all info that I know. But she, she didn't say, she didn't say whether she'd be in tonight or not. She didn't give me a yes or a no. But I did tell her though, that if she happened to not be in tonight that we all completely under, understood. There's the sunset, John, if you're wanting to see the sunset. We're in Sevierville. Wait a minute, Larry. Larry's in the house. Larry with two R's. <laughs> He's saying roar. I did see that comment. See, so yeah, I know we'll all every one of us that's in here i know we'll all keep grandmother virginia in our prayers because she's she's having it pretty rough right now just based off what she's told me i mean she she's fine she's she's okay but she's she's having it pretty rough at the moment We'll get up here in town and I'll get caught up on the on the comments. 
And that's what I say. We got we got a little bit to talk about tonight. More than just the windstorm. So everybody, anybody that's addressing comments to me or ones that I need to read or whatever, just bear bear with me. I'll get the. Uh, I'll get over here in this little area that we normally go to and uh, I'll get caught up on all the comments. But y'all keep saying hate each other and talk to each other. Do do that. It's trying to rain again a little bit. It won't be much, though. Just a little old rain cloud above us. Oh, they still got it. They still got it lit up right here. As far as got the rope lights. So they say, I always like this little town right here. I mean, it's just cute and quiet and nice. Oh, they've got the, uh, oh, that's cool. They got the Easter, the Easter decorations are out already. I'll get pulled. I'll park over there where y'all can be able to see it. I guess it's the first time I've been up in Sevierville as far as like during the Easter part. I know last year I was here for Easter, uh, but I didn't come up to, uh, I'm going, I'm, Went right by that parking spot. <laughs> Talking to y'all. Uh, I just didn't come up here. So I, I, this is the first time I'm getting to see the decorations. All right, there's the Easter decorations, usually where they have the Christmas tree. I'll zoom in just a little bit where y'all can see it a little bit better right there. All righty, let me get caught up with everybody here. Uh, Cause I know the phone moved too. All right, there's where Scott had told me states plays at seven, and then Carolina plays Thursday night, and everybody's saying hey to everybody. Uh, Larry says I'm rooting for Atlanta for the Atlanta Cougars to go all the way. <laughs> Larry, <laughs> excuse me, then Leslie's laughing. Jimmy's saying hey. Everybody's saying hey. John says. Watching that video of how that freight liner hit the bridge is un unbelievable. I know it, John. It was. I I've seen it a few times to today as far as the that video. It's sad, too. Uh, and, of course, I answered Landa. Uh, she was asking where Virginia was. Everybody's saying hey to everybody. Leslie says, hello, Larry, you sexy beast. You've got, you've got your wife feeling hot and sweaty now, uh, Larry, now that you're in here. Yeah, that's where he went roar. <laughs> Scott says, "Hey, Larry, I like them cougars too. They're especially, they're tough, especially on young men." <laughs> Scott, <laughs> Larry says, "Yes, they are, Scott. That's why I like them." <laughs> and then uh, Dry Creek says, "Hey, everyone, Rob's here." Hey, Rob. Okay, I thought you was you and Denise was already uh, in together. Uh, John says, hey, Jeff, have you ever seen that video of that guy that brought in his pet duck in the video they banned him from? I didn't see it, uh, John, but I have heard about it. The news told it. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, the news just told it, but I heard it like a month or so ago that uh, he took his pet duck in and then, of course, got banned from all the buckies. Uh and then everybody's saying hey and waving at everybody. Then Tri Creek goes, good Lord. <laughs> Jimmy says, uh, kicking it country, Scott, is your uh, picture 12 by 17. Okay, he's he's asking Scott about measurements. Uh, Larry says, doo-doo. <laughs> then Leslie's got the poop emoji. And then, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I... 
I really don't have no reason to, John, to take Tootsie in the Bucky's. Um, I just, I really don't have a reason to take her in there with me as far as that. Uh, really, the only place that I take her in is Cracker Barrel. Uh, just so she can be in there to eat with me and stuff and she gets a pup cup. I mean, there's been a other, few other places that I've uh, taken her in. Uh, the Goat Coaster. Uh, I know she can go in the Goat Coaster. Uh, she's been in there a few times. Uh, and I guess that's about it as far as being in a store with me here in Pigeon Forge is, is uh, Cracker Barrel and the Goat Coaster. I'm trying to think if she went in, because I didn't even take her into the Pottery House. She stayed in the car while I was at the Pottery House. Uh, and then Leslie says, uh, oh, and Leslie goes, oh, dear Lord. And then Leslie says, I agree, Sevierville is very cute. And then Larry says, Jeff, how much is gas? Uh, two eighty-two. I'm sorry, I meant to show that. Yeah, where I, that honey hole that I was at, where I was just at at that Walmart, uh, up the street here, uh, it's still two eighty-two. They hadn't went down or went up. It's it's been two eighty-two since I've been here, and that, that'll be two weeks now, I guess, or going on two weeks. It will be two weeks this Thursday. Uh. Let's see. Uh, everybody's laughing. <laughs> John says, I'm just joking, Jeff. They don't allow animals inside Bucky's. Uh, Scott says, Jimmy, let me uh, let me get Eli something to eat, and I'll go measure it. That way I don't forget. And Dry Creek, Rob and Denise says, we are, Jeff. Rob's just being weird. Oh. <laughs> hey, Rob, you can be weird all you want to be as far as uh, I got to run the heat down or cut it off because I'm warm now. Uh, heck, we can all be weird in here, as far as it goes, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, David says, Bucky's just don't give a duck four ducks. <laughs> That's pretty good, David. Linda's saying hey to Rob Denise. Larry says, when did you go to the Pottery House? I went... Uh, it's been a couple of years ago as far as the first time because that's when I met uh, Joshy and Stacy and uh, Tommy and Teresa. Uh, as far as uh, I'd met Tommy and Teresa, uh, and I'm trying to think if that was the first time I met Joshy and Stacy too, I believe. I think we all uh, met there. I know we all met there and ate together and stuff, but I think that was our first time meeting, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is that right, Teresa? TME Teresa? I know Joshy's not in here at the moment, or I'd ask him, uh, but Teresa would know. I'm pretty sure that's when we all first met each other, uh, or at least for me, meeting them. Oh, there's Joshy and Stacy. Hey, buddy. He says it was. I thought I, I, had, to, I had to really think on that for a second because that's been a few years ago. I'm getting old. <laughs> Mine's not as sharp. Uh, Larry says, uh, wait a minute, Dry Creek, Rob and he says, hey, Linda, sorry we're trying to do three things at once, missing saying hi to some. And Leslie says, I don't blame Bucky's. Ducks like to poop everywhere. They have, uh, they have literally walking poops. One drops with every step. <laughs> and Dry Creek says, don't encourage it, Jim. <laughs> John says it's 3.39 up in Ohio for gas. And Jimmy uh, Jimmy says gas is 3.40 where he's at. And Scott says, I don't have a reason to take Amber in the Bucky's other than to let her shit <laughs> in that fancy bathroom. But I don't put her leash on her. That's probably why they haven't said anything to me. <laughs> Scott! See, stuff like that that he's writing, that's what I'm telling you, in his live video Sunday night, Lord have mercy at the stories. And uh, Teresa is saying yes also. And uh, Leslie's saying, hey, Linda says, Jeff, that's a nice Easter display. It's nice nobody messes with you. I know it. I know it. It is, it is uh, nice that nobody, you know, tears the towns up and throws trash out and makes a mess and you know, as far as that part, and I, I know certain times of the year you have, you know, a, f a few hoodlums that come into town and want to do stupid, crazy stuff. But other than that, though, it's mainly 95% clean all the time. 
uh, Dry Creek goes, oh, Lord. And then Scott's saying, hey, to Josh and Stacy. Josh and Stacy saying, what's up, Scott? And Jimmy says, I've been in buggies, and uh, I think he's meaning buggies, and half a dozen times, and I and it's not my favorite spot. Why, well, hey, Jimmy, there's a few that doesn't like buggies either, and and I can understand it. Uh, I've got people in my family that cannot stand buggies, but I'm one that likes it. I like it. I haven't been to it since I've been back over here. I haven't been to it yet, but I know I will. I'll I'll go in and look around just see what else i can find uh, i just i like going to it just the scenery it's mainly what it is for me um uh, fred's laughing at scott jimmy says hey to joshy and stacy what's up buddy uh linda says joshy how is the hot sauce business and joshy says jimmy how are you jimmy says josh i'm doing good buddy leslie says the police station is like one block away though Maybe people are scared to vandalize stuff. <laughs> well, that's that's true, Leslie. Uh, Joshy says, Linda, it's going well. Working on getting into Kroger and Walmart. Oh, that's cool. So you're going, well, shoot, I go to Kroger. So let me know, Joshy, when that happens. Because I go to, when I'm here, I go to, I don't have a Kroger at home, but I go to the Kroger here just because it's right up the street. Uh, I hadn't, or yeah, I've already been once, but I went to Walmart the other day when I had to go for something else so I picked up groceries while I was at Walmart but I mainly go to Kroger though just cause it's right up the street so yeah keep me keep me posted on that Joshy um let's see uh Rob Denise says in case you all don't know they don't have Mountain Dew at Bucky's anymore <laughs> I know and, and that's why Denise and Rob don't like it because they've done away with the Mountain Dew. Bag biters. Come on, Buckies. Get your act together, Buckies, if you're listening. <laughs> hey, Blaine. Hey, buddy. Everybody saying hey to Blaine. Everybody saying hey, Joshy he says, who keeps allowing Dry Creek to talk? <laughs> I guess me, Joshy. <laughs> they, they can type all they want. <laughs> uh, Leslie says, oh, my God, you are serious. Uh, Rob Denise, that's brand new information. <laughs> And then John Creek goes, jerk. Yeah, that's Denise talking to Joshy. Larry says, what, what, Dry Creek? When did this happen? Uh, Linda's saying, hey, hey, Dan the Mountain Man. And he's saying, hey, to everybody in chat also. Uh, Rob Denise says, I know, Leslie. I was just trying to be informative. And Blaine's saying, hey, little Linda. Joshy says, who is Dry Creek calling a jerk? Probably should block him. <laughs> Uh, Scott says, there's my brother from another mother saying hey to Blaine. Uh, Larry says, I think Kellogg, uh, Kellogg's owns Mountain Dew. Well, I didn't know that. No, I seriously didn't know that, uh, Larry. I mean, if that's true, I, I don't know. Uh, Leslie's laughing. Fred says, hey to Dan. Scott's saying hey. Uh, Robin Denise says, I know, Larry. Why would you not have Mountain Dew? And Fred and Connie saying, hello, fishing buddy Blaine. And Dry Creek's laughing at Larry. Blaine saying, hey. Linda's waving at Dan. Everybody's saying, hey. Uh, Denise says, at this point, Larry, I think I own Mountain Dew. Hey, you, you ought to get stock in it, Denise. I'm telling you. I need to get stock in Coca-Cola's. <laughs> Any, anything that we buy a lot of, we all need to get stock in to roll this window down let some fresh air in it's getting getting i guess because i got my car running uh larry says i heard that on cnn and joshy says larry might be full of shit <laughs> then leslie's laughing yeah and then blaine says fake news larry and then denise says i should huh? and then larry's larry's getting tickled at joshy uh, Rob Denise says, uh, I don't buy that much Mountain Dew. <laughs> and then Joshy says, love you, Larry. And I'm caught up now at the moment. All right, I got to get my drink here. That is a pretty di Easter display, though. Because I, I, that is a first for me. I mean, I know I've been up here at Christmas time and saw that, but I did not realize that they decorated for Easter. Uh, what'd you retract, uh, Teresa? TMA TV, Teresa. 
I didn't see it in time. <laughs> uh, Larry says, love you more. And Rob Denise says, there was a video we watched a little earlier today that was full of shit, Joshy. <laughs> per Rob. <laughs> And uh, Blaine says, I'm a coke addict. First step is helping, is helping admitting that you have a problem. <laughs> hey, I'm right there with you, Blaine. And uh, Dry Creek saying hey to Blaine. Joshy says, I can't even bring myself to watch it, Rob. And uh, Tommy and Teresa, Teresa says, as many Dr. Peppers that I drank, I should own the company. <laughs> hey, I'm right there with you guys. I know exactly what y'all are talking about. I'm about to roll the wind up, start the rain again. That little stinking rain cloud. I see it raining right here behind me coming out of the cloud. <laughs> I don't know if I can get that. Let me see if I can. Hold on. I'll flip the. I don't know if it'll shut. Yeah, I won't be able to. Because it's right there with that. You can see it right up here. But I can't, I can't move this where I've got this thing locked down to where so it don't shake as much. Or trying to keep it from shaking a whole lot when I'm driving. Uh, let's see, uh, Larry says, I have a Dr. Pe uh, Dr. Pepper problem. Well, I saw that today, Larry, on Facebook. I commented on it. Or you talking about having all them Cokes and they wanting a single Coke in sight. Uh, let me make sure I didn't forget something or miss somebody. Uh, Blaine saying, hey to Rob and Denise, Dry Creek's laughing. Uh, Joshy says, hey, Leslie, don't tell Larry you're my true love. <laughs> and Scott says, I looked into buying stock in this uh, monster popsicles. <laughs> yeah, now, Scott, for y'all that don't know Scott, Scott and Amber love them some popsicles. And when they can't find them or if the store's out, they're going through DTs. They start getting the shakes. <laughs> they, start, they start panicking. <laughs> And that, that's one story that they tell in that show. <laughs> it's hilarious on what they ended up doing. Uh, Joshy saying hey to Teresa. Uh, Leslie says, I want Joshy. The secret's safe for me. Blaine says, Scott, just get Dollar General stock as well. <laughs> and then Joshy says, well, we all know Larry can't read. <laughs> and John says, good evening, everybody in chat from Parts Unknown. Uh-oh. So John's not in Columbus, Ohio right now. <laughs> He's out gallivanting around too, enjoying retirement. Uh, Scott says, Diet Dr. Pepper for me, please. And Joshy's saying, what's up, Blaine? Uh, TME TV, Teresa's saying, hey, Joshy. Uh, Linda says, TME TV, you should try the peeps that are Dr. Pepper flavor. Really? Now that's news to me too, because I like the peeps. I know some of y'all are going to, say that y'all don't because i know i think if i remember right in past videos i think some of y'all don't like the peeps uh but i do uh it and it don't matter which color for me i can do the pink or the yellow <laughs> uh let's see patrick says i need to stock in i need stock in mellow yellow <laughs> and leslie's laughing at joshy larry's laughing blaine says doing well joshy how in the world are you and uh, Scott says, no joke, Blaine. I was there about an hour ago. And Joshy says, uh, Patrick, Melly Yella is way better than Mountain Dew Pants. <laughs> uh, Denise, Denise is going to get on to Joshy again. <laughs> He's talking bad about Mountain Dew. <laughs> Just see, Rob Denise says, I started out years ago with Melly Yella Patrick, but switched to Mountain Dew, and the rest is history. <laughs> Larry says, I'm drinking Starry Zero right now with my dinner. And Scott's saying, hey, let's try There we go. <laughs> Denise is going, Joshy. <laughs> and then uh, Denise or Rob are both of them saying, I like peeps. And Les I see, that's right. Leslie's one that doesn't like them. She's, she thinks they're gross. It's the texture. Well, the, texture's what, the texture's what I like is the texture then you get the marshmallow in in the middle uh dry creek says let them let them get a little hard <laughs> yeah hey i have i have done that by accident uh denise if that was you who said it it might have been rob that topped that 
uh, I have accidentally, and they are actually good if they got a little bit of hardness to them. That's no, that's no lie. Uh, hey, James. Hey, buddy. Blaine says, my wife loves peeps, but yuck. <laughs> Larry says, I think Keurig uh, bought peeps. And Fred says, Scott, you need to invest in Twin Pops by Budget Saver as they created the Monster Popsicles. Uh, Leslie's laughing with the jerky. Leslie's zipping her mouth and then laughing with Dry Creek. <laughs> and then <laughs> Linda's saying, Dry Creek, don't, don't get any peeps in your beard. And Joshy says, I think you're right, Larry. And then Rob Denise says, not too hard, but not too soft when the with the peep that is right. <laughs> and then Leslie says, you're killing me. I know I'm killing y'all. I know what's going on, trust me. I play along sometimes. <laughs> uh, Scott says, yes, sir, Fred. And Larry says, I usually am, Joshy. And Dan says, all this talk of junk food, my blood sugar's going up just listening. <laughs> Jimmy says, what in the world's a peep? You don't know what a peep is, Jimmy? Holy moly. Just go to a grocery store. I'm sure they're out right now because Easter's this weekend. And just go in there and ask them. They say, I want to see some peeps. And they will show you what a peep is. <laughs> Dry Creek says, I don't like them, Leslie. De Denise is saying that. The bunnies, not the chicks. I don't like the texture of the chicks. But seriously, I don't. <laughs> Jimmy says, I just drink water. I just drink water and black coffee. Le Larry says, Leslie, it's like, it's like you went there just a little heart. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even read that right. <laughs> Larry says, Leslie likes it when there's a little hardness to it. <laughs> For instance, Jimmy Peeps are a marshmallow confection market, marketed since 1953. And then Blaine's saying it's like a marshmallow. And Leslie says, now, Larry, I like them rock hard. Then <laughs> Scott says, that's the shirt for tonight. I accidentally let it get hard. <laughs> hey, there you go, Joshy. There you, there you go. There's your new shirt right there. Uh, and then Linda's going, Larry. And Joshy says, damn, Fred, quick on that Google. <laughs> And then, uh, let's see, everybody's laughing. And then Jimmy says, I thought they were talking about a drink. <laughs> James says, well, if your peeps are a little soft, then you need to get some blue peeps. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Rob Denise says, Denise is nuts. Peeps are nasty. Cadbury eggs are the best. No. Now, I cannot do the Cadbury egg. I have tried. I cannot do that for some reason. I have tried it. Uh, and then Linda says, I'm not showing my peeps. <laughs> Blaine says, don't ask to see peeps. They will just say, just look around. There are tons of peeps shopping. <laughs> Blaine. Oh, Lord, what have I got myself into now? Oh, let's see. Y'all ain't going to let me tell my stories tonight. Y'all got me so tickled. Uh, Fred says, my whole America has peep store. For all you die-hard peepers. <laughs> David says, be careful going to the store and asking for peep. You might get arrested. <laughs> Scott says, Jimmy, don't tell them you want to <laughs> see some hard peeps. <laughs> no, don't say that part. <laughs> tell them you want to, that you want to see what an Easter egg, what the Easter egg, or not Easter egg, but the Easter uh, peeps look like. Where, you know, you want to see a pack of them. Ah, Jimmy's laughing. <laughs> Rob Denise says, I, pur I purposely let it. I mean, them get hard. <laughs> Leslie's laughing. James is saying hi to Rob, and I'm caught, up. I'm caught up with the comments now, finally. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad it quit raining again. <laughs> oh, Lord, how mercy. Oh, I might roll this other window down. Let a breeze come through. I'm going to get the AC on. Now, I mean, it's only 57 degrees outside, but it feels like 157 right now. Y'all got me laughing so hard. <laughs> uh, Rob Denise is saying, hey, James. Blaine says, harder the, bat harder the better, but careful with your teeth when you put your put it in your mouth. And Dan says, uh, Cad Cadbury cream eggs are the best part of the Easter season outside the main reason. 
I just, I can't do the Cadbury, Cadbury eggs, uh, Dan. I, <laughs> for some reason, it just, uh, the taste of them, ugh. Uh, John says, what about them carrots? Or what about bent, the bent carrots? <laughs> and Dry Creek says, working on it, John. And Larry says, what's the difference between pickpocker and a peeping Tom? One snatches your wallet, the other one watches your snatch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting on that joke, Larry. Oh my lord! Scott says Cadbury eggs are the best. You don't have to wait for them to get hard. <laughs> uh, dry, dry Creek says you have to have the right technique, Blaine. And uh, Jimmy saying hey to Dan. Leslie says wow. Blaine says I guess Denise. And Scott says yes, sir, Dan. I'm with you. Talking about the Cadbury egg. I'm caught up because everybody's, everybody's laughing and saying hi to each other right now. Blaine says, true, Scott. Already creamy. <laughs> Man, Lordy. I love it. I love it. I appreciate all the laughs. I mean, this is, this is I'm telling you, it's what I did Sunday night. The way y'all got me laughing now is the way Scott had me laughing Sunday night. Like, just nobody could hear me except Tootsie because I was in the camper. All right, hey, we'll get back on this fun stuff here in a minute, but let me uh, let me flip it around here. Get some. Uh, finally, figured out how to get some lights in this place. Of course, y'all still can't see. Let me get let me get Tootsie up here right quick so y'all can be able to see her too. I'm back in the car, Lexi. You don't have to beat to warn me that I got out of the car with the key. Oh, let's see. How am I going? Let me see if I can do this. All right, hop up here, hon, so they can see you. Hop up here. Because they want to, cause I know we're matching. We're matching tonight. Here, sit down. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Blaine says, uh, wait a minute, Blaine says, funny thing is, I was uh, there in hell, and it's all true. Yeah. And Dry Creek says, uh, is that a Santa suit in the back, <laughs> Rob? <laughs> no, it's not a Santa suit. She's got her, she's got her Bucky's shirt on, and then I got mine on, which I've got to get the regular Bucky's, like what she's got. I, I thought I had one, but I don't guess I do. I know you want me to pet you. I know. I know. Bless your heart. You're getting to sit up here, Dry Creek's laughing. <laughs> I've been thinking it was a tree skirt. <laughs> no, no, that's the towel. Remember, I got rid of the, I got rid of the, uh, the pink towel. I got a green towel now. <laughs> James says the queen of the show. Blaine says, Jeff, you would make a good Santa because Santa only comes once a year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Teresa says, oh, she's beautiful. Thank you, Teresa. Tell you me, Teresa. Linda says, Tootsie, you're matching with Jeff. How sweet. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Fred says, the star of the show. <laughs> Rob and Denise is laughing. Linda says, Jeff, there's something red back there with four, with with white fur around the eight. Wait a minute. I don't know what y'all are. I don't know what y'all are seeing other than unless you're talking about my duffel bag right here behind her. That's it's a duffel bag right here. Hop over there for well, no, I don't want you. To. <laughs> You're talking about this. That's a duffel bag. I've got my clothes in it. If that's what you're talking about, I can't. I can't figure out what else. I don't know what else. All right, come back over here. All right, hop, right sit, sit right there. Sit right there. Look right there. They want to see you. Uh, yeah, I know. I got my 40th anniversary shirt on, John. Uh, Scott says, Blaine. Blaine and I are 13 days away from going to the Carnival Sunshine. Y'all got uh, y'all should join us. It's untelling what trouble we'll get into. Yeah, they're they're going on a cruise here in a couple of weeks, or actually less than a couple of weeks, I guess. Get up here and see it. Come here. Get up here. Um, okay, so it's the duffel bag y'all were talking. Yeah, that's my duffel bag. Uh, let's see. Leslie says it looks like a tree screwed on my phone. Well, I see what y'all are talking about now. I didn't catch that in the on my screen here because I'm reading the chat and not paying attention to what it's showing on the screen. 
uh, Robin Lee says, now, now it looks like Santa pants, Leslie. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, I see what y'all are talking about now. It does. That is that is weird looking on the on the screen here. Uh, okay, Dan, he says, I have to head back to work. See you guys later. Hey, thanks for coming in, Dan. I appreciate it. Dry Creek says, boy, it don't take much to entertain us, does it, Leslie? <laughs> Yeah. Hey, me neither, Rob and Denise. Y'all know that. <laughs> Don't take much to entertain me. Uh, so anyhow, uh, all right, I'm called up. So on the, uh, then I got my Coca-Cola. <laughs> all right, so last night, I started at the beginning. Uh, some of y'all already know this, though. But I got my firewood yesterday. I get it all hacked up, and while that's happening, I've already talked to Fred and Blaine and all them, and we made plans to fish last night, you know, go VR fishing. So, you know, I get the firewood, and I get it there, and I get it all hacked up, and, uh, well, then I get company comes over, and... And I'm playing a game with them. I'm almost finished with that game, and I hear my phone go off, and I said, I already know who that is. They're wanting to know where I'm at. Here I'm not on the fishing game yet. So I get all that wrapped up, and uh, I get on there, and I start fishing. But what I do, because by this time, it's nighttime, and you can have your Oculus uh out at night time and not have to worry about messing it up with the sun or anything. So what I do is I get that thing out and uh, I set a whole new boundary because what I've done is I've built me a fire. <laughs> I said, I know I'm going to be live tomorrow night. I know it's going to rain tomorrow. I've got this darn wood. I want to build a fire. So <laughs> I ended up building a fire, get on the Oculus. I'm sitting there fishing with Fred and Blaine and this other guy that we ended up meeting on there last night, and he was cool as all get out. He's just like all of us in here. He's from Alabama. He's country. He has the same mentality that all of us do as far as on, you know, certain topics and everything. Uh, so we, there's four of us in there. We, we was having a good old time. Well, I'm in there fishing. I get my boundary set, and I tell myself, guys, I'm sitting out here by a fire. We'd been fishing for probably, or at least when I came in, they were already fishing. So by the time I get in there, though, we'd probably been fishing together for, I don't know, what do you think, Fred? About 30 minutes, give or take, 45 minutes. Uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> they said, what in the world's going on? Says, somebody's got a lot of wind, wind to happen. I said, uh, yeah, that'd be me. I said, I'm sitting out here by a fire. I said, the wind is starting to blow like crazy. And sure enough, they, they could hear it coming through the microphones. And said, yeah, about 40 minutes. I, I thought it was somewhere between 30 and 45. Uh, they start hearing the wind and stuff. So, you know, well then, you know, so we're sitting there fishing. Well, all of a sudden, they hear this noise. And I hear it too. I said, guys, hold on a minute. And here, I, I said, I got to see what the heck's happened. <laughs> I take my headset off. The hit had blowed my lid up on that chest that I had bought. Uh, it just flung it open. So here I go, shut it down. And undoubtedly, I guess I didn't have the lock back on it right. So I get the lock put back on it so that won't happen no more. My sign, you know, it says Jeff and Tootsie, it's sitting there just as hard as it can go, flapping. So anyhow, I get... Uh, we fish till like 10 o'clock. Blaine leaves before me and Fred, and then me and Fred's like five minutes after Blaine. I mean, it was like almost 10 o'clock. We both just said, we're, we'll call it a night. We'll uh, do it again, you know, the next go round. Uh, so we call it, we all call it a night and stuff. I don't a bit more get off. And that wind hits again. I thought, good Lord. And so I get in the camper and I'm pretty much ready for bed, you know, but I got my pajamas on. I hear that wind blowing like crazy and I hear my sign flapping. I said, I need to go out there and take that sign down or I'm not going to have a sign when I wake up in the morning. 
So here I go out in my pajamas, you know, half naked, whatever. Of course, it's nighttime. Ain't nobody out. Uh, I take that sign down and uh, get it all folded up. And, and I set a, I've got this like wooden block or whatever. Uh, so I set it on it. So that way I thought, by golly, it's going to take a darn, you know, 160 mile an hour wind to lift that thing. Uh, so I, I, I get all that done. I get back in the camper. Well, I hear a few more gusts and everything. I finally fall asleep. I don't know what time because I'm staying awake, you know, because I'm worried about the trees around me. I mean, I'm telling you, boys, it's like being in a hurricane. It is like being in a hurricane. It was crazy last night. I, I guess I am asleep because next thing I know, I hear kaboom, you know, <laughs> I thought, what the hell's happened now? I jump up and I, you know, get out there. And of course I'm, you know, still dressed, you know, in my pajamas and stuff. I get out there, it, my chest that I have has a lock on it. I didn't have the lock completely locked, but I had it latched real good. It took the lock the lid and all flung it off has broke it broke it it's the one corner's broke on one of the hinge side so i've got to fix that back i got to do that i guess i'll be working on that tomorrow because it rained all day today so anyhow it broke that uh so i got to get that fixed my wood pile that i had was leaning it had moved the wood it, luckily it didn't fall but it, it was leaving, so I got all that squared away. And I thought, I'm just gonna stay up. I said, boys, if one of these tree limbs come down on us, I'm gonna we're gonna be in a world of hurting. Uh so I ended up just staying up and riding that mess out. But I'm telling you, it was every bit of sixty mile an hour winds. And and I think that's what the news said too. I thought it was seventy and I'd misspoke to Leslie when we talked earlier today. But but I know it was sixty for sure. And I also heard on the news that Gatlinburg has got a mess going on, that they got trees down. Uh, this was at the five o'clock news. They were showing, I mean, the traffic was backed up. Now, I'm sure a lot of it's got to do with spring break and everything. But they did say that the bypass was closed for a while on the news today. But it's back open. Uh, so I don't know how much. I hadn't seen anything on YouTube. But... Uh, they they said the bypass was back open, but it still showed the traffic real bad in Gatlinburg. So I don't know if they're still having stuff to deal with from all that that happened last night and early this morning. And when I say early this morning, the wee hours of the morning, because I didn't I didn't sleep much. I ended up uh, I, I went to breakfast at like eight o'clock, and when I came back, I took a a snooze till about eleven, I think, because I knew I was going to be up tonight doing the live show for you guys. So anyhow, so that's that's the story on what all happened last night. <laughs> I mean, I you know, I can't tell stories as good as Scott and Larry and Leslie and Josh and Stacy and Dry Creek, Rob and Denise, and all you guys, because y'all tell stories way better than I can. But I tried to make it as funny as I could. Uh, you know, as far as when I could put funny stuff in there. Uh, but yeah, it, it was definitely. I mean, it was definitely a little scary last night. Um, I mean, that's why I said it kept me kept me up because I just it, I, the camper it didn't move the camper, and I didn't tell this part it didn't move the camper, but the chocks that I've got under the wheels it moved them. It moved two of the four that's under the wheels, moved them out from underneath the wheels completely. I had to go chase one of them down. It slid plumb over into the other spot that I was at. Uh, and I was thinking there's something else that happened that I missed. Oh, yeah. when I Whenever I hear the big racket, when I go to get out of the camper, I didn't tell this part. When I go to get out of the camper, <laughs> I didn't think nothing about holding on to the door. So, you know, I, I hit the latch to open the door. It come out of my hands to face. It goes wham right against the camper. It didn't hurt nothing. 
It didn't hurt nothing. I'm glad it's quit raining. These windows are going back down. Get hot. Uh, it didn't hurt anything, but it hit hard, though. Well, I'm just glad it didn't break that glass that I got. And, of course, that little cover that I got in that hole, it goes flying. You know, in the middle of the night. I don't even see where it went. But I did find it this morning. So I was blessed and thanking the Lord that I found my little shield where nobody can see in on me. So I retrieved that this morning when it, when it got daylight. Uh, but, yeah, that was the other thing that happened, too. I mean, that, it took that door right out of my hand. I was like, good Lord. All right, so let me see what all y'all what all y'all said. Uh... But yeah, now nah, I but I've definitely right quick on the fishing now. I'll be able to fish sitting by a fire and all that. I'm I'm looking forward to that. I created me a little boundary. Oh yeah, and I also ended up uh, running my drop cord and plugging my VR headset up so I could be able to fish with them longer. <coughs> uh, let's see. All right, right there's where they said the star of the show. Okay, Leslie says, it absolutely does not. Talking about it, don't take much to entertain us. Linda says, Jeff, are you wearing pants? Yeah, <laughs> I'm wearing pants, Linda. Uh, Fred's saying, hey, hey, Diamondback. Diamondback slipped in here. I didn't, uh, Diamondback says, I'm just back from supper. Sounds like I missed more stuff. <laughs> well, no, uh, you probably came in right when I started the story. Uh, but we were on other stuff beforehand. Uh, so you might want to go back and watch that. Because they had me in tears. But it was with the stories that Larry and... Leslie and Rob, Denise, and Josh and Stacy, and all everybody in here that's jawing about stuff. Uh, let's see. Larry says, Is that a bird, bird cage back there? No, that's my laundry basket, uh, Larry. My car's my closet. <laughs> I'm going to flip the camera back around too, where y'all can see the. For the ones that's just getting in here too, where they can see the, the Easter decorations uh drunk Creek's laughing at larry scott says blaine that's what i'm telling amber so maybe we'll make it on time <laughs> blaine says uh you're looking at a guy who get entered who get entertained on vr so so you know it doesn't take much for <laughs> hey um, it don't it don't blame you know me too well uh let's see everybody's saying hey to everybody right now uh robin Lee says i like my oculus out at night also how about you larry <laughs> here we go uh, let's see larry says my oculus likes it out day or night <laughs> then larry says my oculus was flapping <laughs> this place says, larry that's a stiff situation <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry says, thank goodness, Blaine. Blaine says, your camper doesn't weigh much. Glad you didn't get picked, picked up. Well, hey, Blaine, right quick. On the on the flip side of that, though, is mine's less likely to get turned over, though, too, because the wind can't catch it as much as it can catch them big fifth wheels, though, especially that darn park model. Oh, Lord, how mercy. That crowd that's got that park model in in uh, that place I'm at, it's a wonder it didn't turn that thing over. Uh, hey, Diane. Hey, thanks for coming in, Diane. Uh, do I dare to ask what I walked into? <laughs> Dry Creek says, they said we had 85 mile hour gust in our, oh yeah. Yeah, now Gatlinburg did have the 80 mile an hour and more. Gatlinburg did have that, and I should have clarified that. But where I'm at in Pigeon Forge, I think it only hit like 60 or whatever. But yeah, Rob and Denise were there at they got like 85 mile an hour winds and, and they still had the winds a lot longer than what I had them this morning because they the winds didn't lay down till about seven o'clock this morning but it but from about nine o'clock 9 30 somewhere around in there nine o'clock I think till early early this morning it blowed like crazy uh, Blaine says at least you had wood this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lordy. Scott says, Jeff fishing in a tornado. Yeah, hey, I thought I was fishing in a hurricane. 
Uh, Larry says, these people have dirty minds, Diane. <laughs> and Scott saying, hey. And Diane says, Scott. Uh, Roxanne says, hi. <laughs> and Diane knows what Scott's talking about there because that's in with Scott's video as far as where they had, all of them met down there in Helen, Georgia. Uh, Blaine says, Larry, we can just pray for those people who think dirty. <laughs> and then Rodney says, last year this time we were there and it was like la it was like last night and there were about four fires not real far from us and we finally went to bed at 4 30 with our clothes on i remember that now rob denise i'm glad y'all met i forgot all about that that's right that was this time last year because uh, it was before i came over because uh, i didn't come over till april april the first uh and it was right before that i remember that i'd forgot about that though uh, Larry says, I saw a picture of Jess Wood on Facebook. I wasn't impressed. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Larry Craig says, uh, okay, Larry. Uh, Leslie says, I need to be the first on the prayer list, Blaine. I've had to erase like 50 things. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at Leslie. Blaine says, go ahead, Leslie. We all are family. Uh, Larry says, Blaine, sometimes they embarrass me so bad. <laughs> Leslie says, I'll keep you up all night, Jeff. Send some of that to Larry. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Or it kept you up all night, Jeff. Send some of that to Larry. <laughs> oh, Lordy Scott says, Diane, that was the craziest thing, but Amber never once got embarrassed. Now, no, Amber don't get embarrassed over nothing. She is not shy. She won't get embarrassed. I mean, she's pretty much... Amber's Amber, and I love her to death. I, I'm glad that I've gotten to to know them and gotten to meet them. They're they're a hoot. Uh, Leslie says, "See, I couldn't hold it in any longer." <laughs> and Blake says, "I know Larry's saying." Uh, Fred says, "Jeff did Jeff did think it was a hurricane at 5 a.m. <laughs> I did. I did. That's when the big. That's when the whole." All hell broke loose pretty much was right before that. Oh, uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, Blaine's laughing at Leslie. Dan says, I believe it, Scott. And Fred says, hey, let's see. Larry says, he's never going to get caught. I'll get caught up, Larry. Uh, Larry says, I was scared when, I was scared we weren't going to hear a VR story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Hey, Tom. Hey, Frog King Tom. Hey, thanks for coming in. Uh, Teresa TME TV says, so Tommy wants a VR or, what, or whatever it is, what do you get? It, the, you can get the Oculus 2, Teresa, or the Oculus 3. The Oculus 3 is the latest, greatest. Well, Oculus 3 Pro. But the Oculus 2 will do you just as much stuff as the, the 3 will. Uh, and they've even dropped the price on it now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Blaine, but Blaine told me that they dropped it to 199 so it's under $200 now. They, they've dropped the price again on them. Uh, right there, Fred Connie's saying, uh, Oculus 2, Teresa. And she's saying, okay. And Scott says, I fished with Jeff and Fred Saturday night, but in VR world, Jeff has no legs. <laughs> that, that's because when I'm in my camper, my, I'm sitting on my floor. So it puts me on the floor in VR as far as in the fishing game part. Uh, but now if I go to Horizon World, I got legs. I got legs. Because it, that app fixes, it, it automatically has you standing no matter what, no matter how you, got, how you have your settings. Uh, Larry says, in my VR world, Scott, I have three legs. <laughs> And Fred says, Jeff is Lieutenant Dan in v VR fishing. <laughs> Linda says, Jeff, Larry knows you have big hands. <laughs> Everybody's saying hey to Tom, Frog King Tom. Uh, Rob Nanny says, it's not the hands, Linda. It's the size of the feet. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and me, Teresa says, I just look. Prices are all over the place. I don't know what I'm looking at. And, uh, you want the Oculus... MetaQuest 2. That's the one that's uh, $199 right now, uh, Teresa. TME TV, Teresa. 
Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see. Linda says, "Okay, Dry Creek. I'm talk. I'm taking notes." <laughs> and then Bain says, "Oh, I wear a size 14 wide." <laughs> and then they're laughing at Linda. And then Leslie says, "Geez, Blaine, ouch." And then Ron Denise says, "Okay, Blaine." And then Blaine says, uh, or Fred says, "Check Walmart tree." Says so they are now 199. And Blaine says, "Denise and Rob, I didn't say the shoe size is true." just means bigger socks <laughs> and blaine says teresa got ours at walmart oculus two or three amazon has them as well and then she says she's gonna look and hey pam apb pam and uh dry creek's laughing with blaine and then everybody's saying hey pam and i'm called up amazing i'm called up and then pb pam saying hey to everybody wow now that was a that was a conversation right there <laughs> big time Oh, Lordy. And Rob Denise is saying, hey, to uh, PB Pam. Linda says, Blaine, you need you need to compare with Jeff. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, I'm trying to think of what else, though, that I was going to tell tonight. And I've done forgot because we have talked about so much already. Uh... Oh, I know one. I know I know of one thing. I do know of one thing. Wait a minute. David says, hey, I missed some of it. Can you read it again? <laughs> no, David, I am not reading all that again. Uh, John says, about the barge hitting the bridge. Uh, well, we've, re we've really kind of already talked about that, John. Uh, and then I've really, and, and I'll go ahead and mention it again. I know we all got uh, Miss Virginia, Virginia Alexander, in our prayers. Um, cause she's, she's got it pretty rough right now. She's, and of course I know we all understand, but yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be keep, uh, Miss Virginia Alexander in our uh, prayers. And I tell you what, I, I mean, and, and all, all jokes aside, all jokes aside though, we'll calm down here for just a second. I wish she is in here cause I'd tell it, yeah, I'm going to tell it whether she's in here or not, but. Maybe she'll watch the replay because I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I know each and every one of us in here would love to meet her and to be able to see her right now and be able to give her the biggest hugs we could give her. So what we can all do is just take this moment right quick and we'll all just stretch our arms out and act like we're giving her a big old hug, all of us at one time for Miss Virginia because I'm telling you, she's got it right. She's got it rough, and I, I hate it for her. I do. I do. But anyhow, so, and, and I know she appreci appreciates all of us, too, and stuff. So, um, uh, yes, she is, David. David says Virginia is the most respected woman on YouTube. Hey, William Smith. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it, it turned turned out beautiful right uh, right when I uh, went live right there. It quit raining and the sun came out right there, right at six six thirty. Uh, Blaine says absolutely. I'd love to give her a hug. She's like a grandma. I don't have right. She's all of our grandmother. I mean, yeah, I, I try to. I mean, I know, and I know we all feel the same way that's in here right now. But we all understand why she's not with us right now, too. Uh, oh, yeah. And on that note, um, when I did talk to her today, uh, the funeral for her best friend uh, is not till a week from today. So she's, she's you know, pretty much going to have a tough week because, no, you know, the funeral and stuff's not happening till a week from now. And sometimes that can be hard on people, and sometimes it can probably make it easier for people. Me personally, it would probably make it harder for me because, uh, you know, a week has went by, and then you're going to have to go through all the emotions again. But, yeah, yeah, and we're definitely, all of us are hugging Miss Virginia, Teresa, TME, Teresa. Because I know, and the reason I say TME, Teresa, because we got uh, a Teresa Jackson in here also. So I try to keep everybody separate. 
Oh, hey, Snakey Holler. Hey, Snakey Holler family. Hey, thanks for coming in. Uh, as I see, and then uh, they're saying hello to everybody. And hey, Nancy Edwards. She's saying prayers for Virginia. Uh, but, you know, and that's the reason I put that video up, too, so I can just let all y'all know all at one time, you know, that watches my channel and stuff. Uh, but I knew we'd talk about it tonight, and I just figured that if I put that video up, it would at least help with the conversation and all that good stuff because everybody would already know about it, you know, because I know everybody comes in at different times. And then that way y'all are not having to hear me repeat myself you know, two, three, four, five times. Uh, so that's the other reason I've done it. But yeah, she said that the funeral for her best friend, though, wasn't until next Tuesday. Uh, so that, that was the other thing I was going to tell. Um, Tootsie's laid up here in the seat now. <laughs> uh, all right, so now I get back. Uh, Frog, Tom saying hey to Scott. Fred saying hey. Linda saying hey to Pam. Scott saying hey to Tom. And I'm caught up so far. Wait a minute, Leslie says, I hate it when they drag it out for so long. They made it so much harder on us when my brother passed away. I just wanted it all to be over. And I can understand that, Leslie. I can understand that. And I can understand that everybody grieves and mourns different too. Uh, it's all, I mean, everybody's different. So I, I get exactly what you're saying, Leslie, because that's why I said, why I said and stuff, because I'm one of the ones that you know, the sooner the better. And I know that can look at being a bad thing, but then again, it's like Leslie's saying though too. It depends on who you are and how you grieve on how people's gonna take that and how people's gonna feel and stuff. Uh, and of course, none of us are the same anyway. Uh, we're all different, but we're all God's children though too. Uh, so anyhow, I see my was caught up on everything. Uh, everybody saying hey to Frog King Tom and Blaine says hit those. Oh Blaine, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. But yeah, um, you know me, I don't worry about the thumbs up or the thumbs down or the middle finger. And of course, I'll get the middle finger now from Leslie. Uh, Leslie says, Leslie, I know what you're saying. So I'm caught up. All right, let me. Uh, Y'all can still chat. I'm going to show y'all something right quick. Here's the other thing. Let me, I might have to get out of my live show here for a second. Because I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to, and I, I know I'm not going to get copyrighted on this. Because I'm going to tell the story first and then I'm going to show you the video. Uh, I got to pull it up though. Let me make sure it's this one first. I know I got the volume turned down. I gotta... Okay, it's not, it's not that one. I think, I think this is, I think this is the one. No, nope, it ain't that one. Oh, wait a minute, that's commercial, Never mind. Hold on, give me a minute. I'm getting it. I got to get the right one. Or it won't be funny. Or at least the... At least the one I'm... This is it. Let me fast forward it right quick because I want to make sure this is it. Yeah, 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 this is it. All right, I found it. All right, let me run. All right, before I play, before I play this and show y'all this, I'll hold on, I'll get caught up with y'all right quick. <laughs> 
I'm gonna flip the camera around so y'all don't have to. Uh, okay, right there's where Nancy came in and everybody was saying hey to everybody. Uh, Leslie says, all God's children uh, got a uvula. Yeah, <laughs> Andy Griffith. We all got a uvula. <laughs> Teresa TME says, I still have crying spells over losing my stuff. Hey, and I can understand that, uh, Teresa. I'm right there with you. Between my, my mom and my granny and my dad and my papa, I, I'm right there with you. Leslie says, I already tried to flip off a Dodge Ram that jumped in front of you a while ago and YouTube wouldn't let it show it. <laughs> and Blaine says, you don't worry about the thumb and I'll take care of it. And uh, Linda says uh, to Teresa TME, I lost my sister last year. She had brain tumor. I looked at pictures and remembered the good times. So sad for her passing. Yeah. And that's what I try to do. I just, uh, you know, I try to remember all the good memories and stuff. Scott says, it does make it tougher, Leslie, but after the family stops meeting and people stop coming by, that's when the grieving really begins, and that's when they really need someone to talk to the most. Right, and I agree with that too, Scott, because I have told Virginia to either text me or call me if she ever needs to talk to somebody or, or needs anything. I, I will drive to Pennsylvania if she needed me to. I would go, to, even, even if I had to leave Pigeon Forge, I'd do it. I do it. Uh, Teresa Timmy says, so sorry, Linda. My sister passed in July. And uh, hey, jo uh, JT, Josh, saying hey, hey. Blaine says, precious memories, how they linger. That's right, Blaine. That's right. All right. Caught up with the chat now. So anyhow, all right. Uh, Fred and Connie, uh, Life of Mountain Folk, they do trivia on Wednesday nights. Last Wednesday was the trivia on something that I had chosen, and it was 80s commercials. So he did trivia on 80s commercials last Wednesday. And he finally threw in the question, and how many, I'm gonna let y'all answer this right quick, and if y'all don't mind, try to answer real quick. How many y'all remember the Folgers commercial and stuff? And uh, you can just, you know, Yes or no, whatever. Hey, Peyton Outdoors. Hey, thanks for coming in. Uh, so he has the question, you know, I can't remember exactly how he had it questioned, but it, it, I think it was, uh, he said, "What? it's like, what commercial had the slogan, what's the best part of waking up is blank that's in your cup? You know, which, of course, the answer was Folgers. So I, I knew, I, I didn't know, but I was hoping and betting that he's going to have that question uh, in his trivia, and he did. So when he had that on there, first thing I did was instead of answering it, I said, well, Folgers got it wrong to begin with. The best part of waking up is when you uh, go back to bed after you've got up and went to pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the uh, the best part of waking up is is, is going back to bed after you pee. <laughs> so I done so I put that in there. Of course, people got a kick out of that. So on that note, though, so here is the Folgers commercial from the eighties that y'all remember, but with a twist. And when I say with a twist, Larry, I'm telling you. Hey, this one, you won't hear no bad language, but it's really going to make y'all think when y'all see this. I don't know how many of y'all have already seen this yet or even know about it. I've known about it for a while and forgot, and I said, I'm going to show it tonight. So let me get the volume up, figure this phone out. Let me get the volume up here. And y'all watch this and pay attention. Well, I must have the wrong house. Sister? so much. They waited up all night for you, you know. It's a long way from West Africa. Oh, coffee. He's here. I brought you something from far away. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Here, my present this year. He 
he's back. Ryan, you have to leave. What? W what are you guys talking about? We know what's going on here. We know you're trying to f each other. What? No. Oh, please. Brothers and sisters don't look at each other like that. He sent you to West Africa for a reason, Ryan. To separate you and your sister. You're crazy! Oh, yeah? What's this? He's my present this year. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're f <gasps> Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I'm your son, and I'm in love with your daughter. Oh! Ryan, what is in that box? Um, uh... What's in the box, Ryan? It's mine. <gasps> Unbelievable. Oh, holy shit. Emily, I love that we have so much in common because we grew up together. And I just want to wake up every morning to the smell of you and Folger's Colombian dark roast. Emily, will you make me the happiest brother? <gasps> I told you. I told you. I mean, if you think about it, if you watch that first original part before it gets into the crazy stuff, it makes you wonder if Folgers back then wasn't trying to warp people's mind. I mean, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, and there he goes, my eyes. <laughs> I told y'all. I told you it makes you think, too. I'm like, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> yeah, it is, Dan. It is. Yeah, I mean, because when I first saw that, I was like, I remember that commercial, and I see now why they've added that part to it. You know, because I, back then, I wouldn't have known any better. I wouldn't have known any different. But, you know, now that I'm older, oh, I completely understand what folders might have been trying to pull right there. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so anyhow, let me get back to, the, to my live here where I can catch up with you guys. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that, though. <laughs> Zeke says, I've never seen that one. Uh, let's see. Where, where am I at? Let me get back so I can... There we go. Where I can catch up with you guys. All right. Let's see. Everybody was saying hey to everybody while I was... Uh, okay, right there. So everybody was pretty much saying hey to everybody. Uh, Linda says, thanks, Teresa. Sorry for the loss of your sister. And then... Getting up is always good. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, and Fred says, I remembered it right. Okay, thank you, Fred. I wasn't sure if I remembered it right or not. Uh, Leslie's saying hey to JT Josh. And Zeke says, your answer is the best. And Blaine says, Folgers, the stiff, lo uh, the stiff drink long before Viagra. <laughs> Larry says, what am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> it comes all my eyes. And Pam saying, oh my. Uh, uh, David says, yes, they from Kentucky. <laughs> the dad says, that's so sick. And Blaine says, gee, was that in West Virginia? <laughs> and Leslie goes, um, uh, David. <laughs> Zeke says, I've never seen that one. And Fred says, don't drink the coffee. <laughs> dad says, David, I am from Kentucky. And Scott says, yes, I don't remember it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Linda says, Jeff, that commercial was funny, but sick. Yeah, I'm telling you. I, I, you know, when I first, uh, I think it was last year when I first saw that commercial uh, and how, uh, and it was on YouTube. Somehow or another, YouTube throwed it up and I watched it and it. I was like, holy moly. Yeah, I wonder if that's what Folgers was trying to get across way back then which i doubt it but it it makes you wonder it makes you wonder because of how that's played out with the way they added that extra stuff there to the end Diamondback, back's going whoa <laughs> every time says i'll never drink folgers again uh for instance i saw it when i saw that when working on the questions and then i was like what the heck? <laughs> or what the crap? <laughs> Leslie says, I told you, I always thought it was pervy. I think they did it on purpose. 
<laughs> I couldn't remember if I uh, sent that one to you or not, Leslie. I couldn't, I couldn't remember. Oh, Lordy. So that was the other thing. And it's already after 9 o'clock. Y'all know how to pass the time by. Okay, so I did. But, uh, yeah, I'm caught up. Oh, I hope y'all had fun tonight. I sure have. Um, let's see. I'll tell you what. I'll ride through town here right quick so y'all can see the rest of the little town here, see what else is lit up or see if we see anything new right quick. And then I'll get caught up on the chat when I tell everybody bye here in a little bit. We still got about 25 minutes or so. Cut these lights off so I can see the drive. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the coffee? Got you. What the coffee? Well, I figured you was meaning what the crap instead of what the hell. <laughs> Wth. But yeah, what the coffee? That's that's a good, that's a good friend. I didn't even think about that. Let's see. Scott says no, Blaine. You don't have to go to West Virginia to find inbreds. Amber's family is from East Tennessee, and you should see her family reunions. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Scott, don't be cracking on East Tennessee. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> ah, he knows I'm just picking. I know Scott's just picking, too. Uh, hey, what's that movie right quick where they've got the the... You know, one stoplight in town, and it flashes like that. What is that movie? I'm trying to think. Paddle faster, Jeff. Yeah. It didn't really, it, I mean, it rained all day, but it didn't rain like hard or, or anything. There, it, that, nowhere near flooding. Nowhere near flooding. Somebody's trying to call me. I hung up on them. I don't know who it was. It wasn't none of y'all. It's somebody else. Some, some over across the world. I hope y'all can still hear me. Can y'all still, can y'all still hear me? What did David say? I'll have to look and see what David said. We're zoomed in. Okay, there we go. Sorry. I forgot we zoomed in. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie, for letting me know. Look at this one cut me off. That right there. Hey, Leslie, see if the finger will work now. Give that one in front of me, the finger. <laughs> I forgot I had it zoomed in. That was my fault. Yeah, there it worked. It worked that time. I see it, Leslie. <laughs> yeah, Leslie says no, laugh out loud. And then she goes, yay. Oh, now this is pretty. See, I like this right here. And then where the clock tower right there is lit up. I don't have nobody behind me, so I can go real slow now. I got a voicemail. Who the heck is calling me from an 876 area code and leave me a voicemail? She was saying no as far as being muted. Hey, Amanda. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Broom, broom, broom. Hey, Amanda, you've missed a good one tonight. Unless if you was lurking. <laughs> you have to watch the, the rerun. Leslie says, I'm not sure. Blaine saying, hey, a man, a man, duh. <laughs> and then Fred says, did you speed it up, Robin? What did Robin and Nice say? Let me look at my other phone. What'd they say? I forgot. I didn't see what they Why is he to us? Hey, Scott, good night, buddy. I appreciate you coming in. Yeah, I'm going to be calling tonight here 
shortly anyway because it's almost going on 9 30. and now i got one behind me so i gotta speed up a little bit let me turn down this road oh they got a little they got a little bar thing going on right here i didn't know that hang on let me i'll pull in right here and i'll turn around and i'll show you what i'm talking about i don't even i, I just heard the music because i had my window down i don't know hey rob denise if y'all know what this place is tell me right quick hang on i'm getting ready to i'm getting ready to turn around and show you this is like a little bar or something they got music going on a little outside this right here what's the i don't see a name let me if you know what this is uh rob denise the name of this place let me know i didn't i didn't see a name i didn't catch a name right quick oh that's pinchies that's the name okay that looks like a pretty cool place i sit here for i'll sit here for a minute that way y'all can see this i'll zoom in where y'all can see a little bit better they got a little outside got little fire heaters stands right there you can see them don't look like there's many people in there at the moment Bynes Entertainment Bar is what Amanda's saying. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right, let me get caught up with you guys right quick. Uh, Amanda says I had beef stew and Crown Royal tonight. Okay, so you're probably you're probably feeling pretty good then, Amanda. Linda says, Hey, Amanda. Zeke says a uh, car warranty. Uh, and then uh, Gary says, 876 is Jamaica. Yeah, I knew it was out of the country. And they've left me a message for some reason. Amanda says, the wind blew the chairs off my pool. I wouldn't doubt it, Amanda. Hey, I told my story earlier as far as with the wind that happened here. Uh, so I believe it. Uh, and then therefore Dry Creek was letting me know what the name of this place was. Uh, they said that they were there with Alex when he did the comedy show. Dang, if he does another one here, let me know now that I know where this place is at. I was making sure nobody was blowing at me. Uh, Linda says, uh, Sevierville is sweet. Is that what you're, is that what you're meaning, Linda? And uh, Blaine says, wrong uh, venue, Amanda. And Amanda says, just tell them you're shitting for the first time in three years. <laughs> Jeez, Amanda. <laughs> this ain't bad Santa. We're not in Christmas season anymore. We're coming up on Easter. Uh, Amanda, uh, Fred says, that's a crappy situation, Amanda. And then Rob Denise says, good Lord. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Rob Denise. Good Lord. I'm waiting on Leslie to say something. <laughs> See, Leslie says, oh, my God, Denise. That video is hilarious. I wish I sounded like that. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, and then I'm a little bit of it because I know Tootsie's going to be ready to eat. All right, hop up here. Hop up here and we'll tell everybody good night. We've had fun tonight. We've had happy tears. We've had sad, sad tears. We've had it all tonight. David says the wind. Uh, Dry Creek says, uh, isn't it? I backed it up a little and then went back, and now it's okay now, weird. And Linda says, yes, Jeff, Sevierville looks like a nice place to hang out. It, it does, Linda. I didn't realize they had this place, but now Rob and Denise has let me know what the name of this is. I might have to come check that place out on a weekend or something when it might be a little bit more livelier. Uh... Blaine says, Leslie, send it, send it here. And Linda says, uh, Leslie says, I can't comment, Jeff. It's all such foolishness. I'll end up being hateful. <laughs> Amanda says, I pretend to be Victoria Justice on the toilet. <laughs> Good Lord. Blaine says, Linda, it's a fun little town that's uh, grown for sure. Yeah, and spent some money, too, uh, fixing this little town up. But they have done it right. That's for sure. Uh, Amanda says, or the big woman on the street say, uh, saying no to Santa. Uh, Rob Denise says, we did a video on it when Alex was there. All right, I'll look that up, uh, Rob Denise. That way I can see what the inside of it looks like and stuff. 
Uh, Amanda says, I can be hot and pretty to scammers. <laughs> well, was that you that was calling me Amanda from, from, uh, uh, shoot. What was that darn country again? Jamaica? <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute. Yeah, was that you calling me from a Jamaica, Amanda? <laughs> uh, Gary says, thank you, Jeff. After a long day, it was great entertainment tonight. Hey, thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. Blank says, our form, former police chief is a uh, chief in Sevierville. Really? Well, I didn't know that. Uh, Amanda says, I tease with Victoria and Ariana voices. And Amanda says, thanks for the info, Blaine. And Leslie goes, dear God, help me, Jesus. And then Denise is going, oh, geez. All right, come here, Toots. I won't get you up no more. Come on. Come on. Let me flip the camera around. She's ready to, she's ready to eat anyway. But, hey, uh, Amanda says, no, it's Puff. Publisher clearing house. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, probably, hey, probably right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a wild guess and a bet that it's probably Sirius XM Radio that keeps calling me, wanting me to resubscribe with this car since it came with it. And I'm like, no, I don't listen to it enough to pay for that. And I don't care if I can be able to listen to it on my phone. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> It's not worth it because I won't I won't use it enough for it to be worth it. Uh, Fred says I'll be heading back to the lake afterwards. All right, well if I get back in time or whatever, and you're still on, I'll I'll get on there and fish for a little bit or something. Larry says, is anyone else going to drink some coffee when this lies over? No, no, just me. <laughs> that commercial was crazy though, wasn't it, Larry? Uh, yeah, it probably is a scammer, man. I'll find out when I hear the voicemail because for some reason they've left me a voicemail <laughs> dry creek's laughing at larry <laughs> hey i hope y'all had fun tonight really uh i enjoyed it i really did uh so but on that note yeah uh larry says we are really zoomed in to oh yeah sorry i well it won't let me zoom well no it's because i've got it it's not zoomed in now this is because the way i've got the camera mounted you're that close here i'll pet on you youngin i know you like being pet on if i quit you start getting antsy uh no it really i'm not zoomed in it's that's how close the phone is to me and stuff larry <laughs> i don't have it on the little tripod thing up in the, up in the window uh man that says you better get some home defense spray <laughs> yeah and jimbo says don't open a link from your jamaica's there are a lot of scams reporting coming from me. Yeah, they left me a voicemail though. So the voice, I know the voicemail can't do nothing to my phone. Uh, Amanda says you, uh, wait a minute. She says scammers are roach cousins. Yeah. So, and it, I mean, and I see it. It does look like it. Well, it does look like it's zoomed in. Shoot it in. Well, it won't let me, it won't. Hold on a minute. Let me fix it then. Let me, all right, now. Now let's see if that fixed it. And I, I just now caught that. Hang on, I zoom. I know I'm petting you, I'm petting you. No, it's still showing it zoomed in. Well, I don't know why it zoomed in right there, but anyhow, yeah, Teresa, TME Teresa saying good night. I don't know, I zoomed it back out, but undoubtedly it's not fixing it. So anyhow, hey, thank all y'all for coming in. Appreciate it. Another fun night. Uh, I might take next week off, or at least next Tuesday. Uh, so just keep an eye out, because they might be a night that I just up and decide to go live. Uh, you never know. Uh, but I'll probably take next Tuesday off it being Easter and everything, or Easter week. Uh, but yeah, everybody have a great week. Love each and every one of y'all. We'll keep Virginia in our prayers. And we'll see you again soon. Uh, and. Thanks for coming in, and thanks for having fun tonight. Love each and every one of y'all. Good night, everybody. All right, Toots, we're going. All right, you can get up here and get me a seat. You can ride up front, since we ain't got too far to go. Let's see, I need to go ahead and do this, though, because I got to I got to Bye, Rob Denise. Thank you, guys. I got to change this thing to public so people can watch the replay. Amanda goes woof, woof. <laughs>